The German Shepherd Puppy is a popular addition to many households. Sometimes called the Alsatian Puppy, the German Shepherd was initially developed for herding and now commonly used as a working dog or pet. This is your guide to providing all the nutrients your new puppy needs. Many types of food can be provided. However, puppy foods designed for large breed dogs are essential for puppies. This will help to avoid health problems caused by overly rapid bone growth. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Swapping puppy food brands. You should initially feed the same diet the puppy was eating before you adopted them. Consider continuing with this diet and then with the equivalent adult dog formulation. If you plan to change to a different food do not do so in the first few weeks. Then gradually include increasing proportions of the new food over a period of 2 to 4 weeks. How feeding changes as a German Shepherd puppy gets older. Your puppy should be fed 3 or 4 times a day up to the age of 4 months. After this age, two larger meals at regular times will be sufficient. As your dog approaches 80 to 90% of its estimated adult size, around 1 year of age, they should be moved to a diet for adult dogs. What to feed a German Shepherd puppy? You will find there are a lot of different opinions about what kind of food is best. Unless your dog or other members of your family have special needs, all of the following are acceptable options. Be sure to consult with your vet to see if your dog has any dietary needs. Feeding a German Shepherd Puppy Kibble There are many good quality kibble diets, but they aren't always the best choice. The FDA recently issued a notice alerting dog owners to a potential increased risk of a serious heart condition. This is called canine dilated cardiomyopathy DCM. The risk is in dogs eating foods that include peas, lentils, or potatoes instead of grains. Some of these cases of DCM were in German Shepherds. The underlying cause of these cases is not clear, but the FDA note suggests that caution should be used in selecting foods with these ingredients for German Shepherds and other large dogs. How much should I feed my German Shepherd puppy? To begin with follow the guidelines provided by the feeder, the feed manufacturer, or by your veterinarian. For example, you could expect to start feeding your puppy a total of around 3 cups a day of a high-quality kibble. However, this will vary depending on how calorie-dense the food is and how it is formulated. Puppies will quickly develop individual needs for food types and amounts based on their size, activity level, and other factors. Is my puppy the right weight? You can also refer to German Shepherd puppy growth charts to see if your puppy is gaining weight and within the normal range. However, keep in mind that some dogs will be unusually small or large but still be perfectly healthy. Do not try to maximize growth rates as this can lead to health problems later. But if your puppy is not showing a steady increase in size, or your puppy lacks appetite, consult with a veterinarian. Ensure that you are familiar with how to assess the body condition of your puppy. You can ask about your puppy's condition at veterinary wellness examinations. My puppy is still hungry. If your puppy seems excessively hungry provide more frequent but smaller meals. Young puppies cannot tolerate going without food for extended periods. With older puppies you may wish to experiment with foods that help them feel more full, and provide low calories treats. Keeping a health puppy active and occupied will help prevent them from becoming overly focused on anticipating their next meal. My puppy won't eat. 
A puppy may lose his or her appetite for a brief period after moving to a new home. If you have had to change foods, the puppy may be temporarily put off by the unfamiliar food. If a puppy shows a loss of appetite you can make the food more tasty with dog safe treats and seasonings. You might also consider swapping to a different food that they find more appealing. If your dog misses more than two meals, is vomiting, or otherwise seems unwell, take them to your veterinarian immediately. How long is a German Shepherd considered a puppy? A German Shepherd should be fed a puppy diet until around 12 months of age, or as advised by your veterinarian based on their growth and development. Adult German Shepherds are somewhat prone to obesity, which can contribute to the skeletal disorders they are prone to. You should continue to monitor body condition and modify feeding to keep their weight moderate or somewhat lean. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.